hi and welcome back to the third part of this tutorial so what is left for me to do now is to be able to calculate the tax and the total and we're going to have to take care of the reset as well so let me show you guys what I'm talking about if I select onion rings there we go nothing is happening here not until I select cash or other different method of payment okay but when I try to reset there I still have this the way it is so we need to be able to take care of that but before we do any other thing let's let's continue with uh, take care of the tax and the total first so come right in here inside the total here right click and let's select build events and there we go inside total but there's one thing I'd like to draw your attention to that is my tax right there tax rate so back inside the total I'm going to be using that very tax rate now to take care of the tax itself what we need to do is right in here let's say tax and the tax is the local variable declared that I uh, is a global variable actually that is it right here that's it so I'm going to assign all my values in here now so we'll come back in here tax as equals let's go for I subtotal we we'll multiply that by tax rate that you guys saw up the earlier run close that and let's divide it by 100 that should give us our tax now for this very tax we need to assign it inside this very text box so let's find out the name of that text box it's called tax rate it's called tax and this one is called total now let's go back inside our code so come in here tax equals let's say equals i tax there we go and total equals i tax plus subtotal so let's copy this subtotal and just add it there paste right so I'm going to try out the cache and let's see how that's going to work then we'll take it from there okay enter a value there right let's go for cash and total there we go you see that guys you add this together you get 45 pounds plus that is very good so we've taken care of the tax and the total of the cash so what we need to do now is let's go back inside the tax itself and we just copy that across to the rest now these very lines of code here I'm gonna copy that just these lines of code copy and paste that right in here that is for the debit card and we need to repeat the same thing for the MasterCard paste and for the visa card there okay one other thing is 
we can always combine all these various cards well we just leave it like that it's the same lines of code anyway let's run it and see okay supposing we want debit card and that's what we want and we want cola and water we want strawberry so four of those vanilla shake seven of those in total there yeah, guys so that is fine okay so reset but well, we need to be able to reset this now let's exit come right in here and okay let's reset all of these checkbox I'm gonna go into the reset right click and select build event right there so the very first one I'm going to reset let's enter the lines of codes in here right underneath here so the very first one is going to be fries dot that will be value make that false there the second one let me copy this so the second one is going to be maybe I should just create a procedure because this will take a long time so I might as well just let's delete this and come right here right underneath here I'm gonna create a sub procedure there that will be called so I'm gonna come here let's give it a name let's say uh, reset reset check box or check box reset check box reset there so the first one is going to be dot value it was it was false and the second one let's go for the second I think it's CHK right CHK right and the second one is CHK salad dot dot value equals false okay so let's let's speed that up right that is how it all looks like now let me show you the rest of the codes so what we then do is to call this so let's copy this procedure name and go right inside my reset button here let's see I think it's right here yeah that's the reset now underneath here let's say call there so that's that so that makes life much easier than just writing all that lines of code in here so we just call that so that's the reset for the checkbox so let's save and run that let's come up here click form view and five of those let's just try it all out and see what's going to happen and the other thing let's see what's going to happen first before I decide okay select that's going to be cash there now let's reset the reset works but all of these are not disabled so we need to disable everything everything we have in here okay I think we can always either call the content because when we run the program first what happen is see when I run it at the initial state what happen this is it click on it you see the form load all of these are disabled so I can always call form load inside the reset as well 
so let's come back in here and um, let's right click on the form, build the event for the form load this is the form load so let's call that and see what's going to happen there so let's go straight into the reset and call form load as well right save that and give the reset a go one more time Okay, select one of these total reset. Yeah, that's what I want. That's fine. Okay, that is fine. Okay, well, we've almost finished now, so let's just try this out. There's one or two things I'd like you guys, or one thing I'd like you guys to, to take care of in case you decide to create this kind of program. You see, I'm going to purposely not select method of payment. If I click that, nothing is happening. But what I want to achieve is, I'm going to make cash the def default value. So it's left for you to select any other method of payment. So what I'm going to do is, let's reset everything and go straight into the design view of that. select that and where we have role data source in here click on data you should see it right there roll data source and here that is my very first option the empty one so i'm going to get rid of that so cash now become my default option so let's save and try to run that one more time Okay, so we still have that. Let's go back into the main design. design. And let's go straight inside the table itself here. Yeah. Right click and go to design view. Alright, let's close this one first. Design view and come right down here. Then that's supposed to be method of payment. Right here. So the method of payment, I'm gonna get rid of it here. And let's see what's gonna happen. Let's come back in and save close that and right click to open the design here and there okay you see that so we now have this as the very first one okay if we have that as the very first one we want something in there so what we need to do is let's go back inside the table and we have a default value we're gonna close this or come to design close that now come right in here right here design view and let's come to the default so like this let's come to default value so the default value in this case is going to be cash that's our default value. Let's put it in the quotes. Right. So let's save that. Come back in here. Right click. Design view. And let's go to form view. Now we have a default value in there. You see that guys. So that's much better now. So you now have the option of changing. So, right, let's grab this, click on that. There we go. 
okay one other very important thing that we need to have a look at is is that all of these bookings are actually stored within within the table so let me show it to you guys right there there we go those are all of the bookings within the table there we go guys that is it right there that's one good thing about this tutorial close this and with that I'm gonna call it the end of this program and bye for now